this now as we make our way home. Welcome back, my son. I'm back. <laughs> hey, you, you were just talking about how they made you check your bags or they were trying to charge yeah, you for checking your bags? They made me check my bag on the way there. And then on the way back, I just didn't feel like carrying my bag. So they asked if anybody wanted to check their bag for free. Oh. And I just checked it. Was the plane full? Uh, on the way back, the flight that I just took, the 40 minute one to Fort Smith, it wasn't really that packed. Like there was a lot of people in there, but I saw some rows that one had like just one person. And then I think I saw one that had nobody. Oh. But that was while we were already flying, like when we were about to land. Oh, that's cool. What about your flight out? Flight out? I don't think I saw any empty seats. Like there might've been some outside seats that were empty, but I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see any. But was it uh, where you're, you had two flights out. It was a, what was that, one to Dallas and then to Philly? Yeah. Oh, okay. I went to Dallas and it was like a two rows only. I was on, I think I had the window seat that time. And then the flight from Dallas to Philly, I was on the outside. And then both times back, like the both the flights I took today were also both on the outside. That's cool. So how was your visit? What all did you do? Who did you get to see? Uh, uh, so I landed. Okay. My That's friend, safe. That's awesome. Yeah, it was good. My friend Jay, he was leaving at, uh, I think they left to go to the airport at 4 a.m. Right. The night I landed. So I was hanging out with him for most of that night. And then after that, I woke up and my friend asked me if I wanted to do a job with him because I wasn't really doing anything else because my mom was at work and all my other friends were probably doing other stuff. Right. He was like, do you want to do this pool stuff with me? Like pool supply company. So we just pull up to the location and we didn't know exactly what we were doing because we were just scattered the land and showed up there. We started pulling out these little what are they called? Little like screw covers. So I was popping out little screw covers with a box opener. Okay. Box cutter, box opener. I was taking those, popping them out. We did that the first day. I think it was like five hours we did that. Oh, and then wow. the next day we did it for like two hours, three hours. So is it, was it like filters or something? No, we were taking out the deck because oh the rocks pushed in the, the liner around it. Okay. So we did that. And after that, I hung out with my mom on the second day. And I, how was that? It was good. Uh, did you miss her? Yeah, I missed her. Awesome. It was different. And she changed my room. It's like an office now. <laughs> it's like her new office. Awesome. So I hung out with her. I saw my little cousins came with my grandma when she came over for a little bit. Right. And then after that, it was Friday. Yeah, so we worked on Friday too. And then all of my friends that were like still in town, we all went over to my friend James's house and we chilled like pretty late. And I ended up falling asleep like way faster, way early than I usually do because I'm usually not that tired, but I think I was just heat deprived from being outside. Oh, from being in the sun and uh, doing pool stuff? Yeah. Oh, cause was the, that lightning? It looked like it. It was like red. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, it's been forecast for all types of storms for like the next month. So that pro most likely was lightning. Fun. Oh, yeah. See if it just out of nowhere starts pouring rain. <laughs> but uh, you, uh, you said you passed out with everybody there. Was it, um, where was anybody pissed that you fell asleep? Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't know. Like there weren't that many people there. I think like three or four other people slept over. Right. But I was already sleeping over his house every other night. So okay. 
I just went upstairs and went to sleep. I told everybody, like, I was going to sleep. But <laughs> I was not lasting outside anymore. Like, it was too tiring. And I was just sitting there, like, slowly nodding off. Less, less. And I wasn't, like, mentally there for, like, the past hour. Like, I did, like, back and forth on my phone doing nothing. Because I did not feel like talking. <laughs> and then... Well, I wonder if that's... Uh that's because of out here you have so much time to yourself and to think and when you get peopled out you can just go and be by yourself in your exactly. own camper trailer yeah. not worrying about anything or anybody else that's why it's different it's like i'm actually around a bunch of people right now yeah. <laughs> like people are trying to speak this whole time <laughs> well, like so how did yeah, was did you feel different being there or um yeah it definitely felt di- you mean different like from Oklahoma or different that I hadn't been there for a while and now I'm back I uh, different from well it's definitely going to be different from Oklahoma mm-hmm. but was it different from uh, from when you left to come out here did you feel like uh, did you feel like you belong there or that's just what you used to do and the people you used to hang out with oh no it feels the same oh it feels the same mm-hmm. oh okay uh, so there's nothing changed if i was ever to go back everything would feel awkward <laughs> i bet yeah it's just completely strange like ah oh, who are you strange person oh <laughs> you're my mother oh hi hey i, I was I, showing um auntie pictures of essex she was like, yeah, your dad won't let me meet him. I was like, oh. Oh, he, oh yeah. Oh, you're talking about my sister. I thought yeah. you were talking about my aunt. No, yeah. My that, auntie. Oh, uh, yes. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's a, a interesting topic. <laughs> it, no, there won't be any phone calls or anything. There would have to be such a massive change mm. in her... Um, uh, in her life thought pattern and all that stuff for me to even consider uh, just sending a picture. Like, I can't stop her from uh, See, yeah. seeing seeing stuff on the internet or uh, you showing pictures or anything like that. Mm-hmm. When uh, I, I believe I was, on the, I, I was on a video chat with my mother once uh-huh. and she was in the background and I was holding him. I was like, oh, let me move the phone. <laughs> he did. I, I, even with him, he was an infant. Uh, and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, I don't want... Never any, feasting. Nah. Yeah, no, no, uh, no connection, no anything. Uh, like, I'm, I'm not going to put any time or effort into anything or anyone that isn't moving in a positive direction. Uh, like it's just it's completely a waste of time. I started distancing myself for years from people. I think it was after um, after uh, uh, Nan passed away and my grandmother passed away. And it was like, oh, well, all of y'all are going your own separate ways and your ideologies. Uh, I could understand if uh, people's ideologies are different uh-huh. uh, because then that would mean, oh, you think like this. But when you either are uninformed and then when someone tries to inform you, and you still say, oh, well, that makes total sense, but I'm still going to think this. Like, all right, well, there's actually no reason to communicate with you because if I say that the sky is blue, you'll tell me that the sky is 7 plus 9, and that equals 35. Like, what? No, I said the sky is blue. Like that, you giving me a math problem doesn't mean anything, and it makes absolutely no sense. But that shows me where you choose to let your intelligence go to and be at, and I won't, I won't allow anyone close or anything to me 
be a, a part of that or be involved in that or even give you an opportunity to reach out like my sister said oh well uh, even after you die I'll be there at, at your funeral you don't know where I live at you barely know what state I live in don't know what county don't know what town I live in and uh, my mother aunt and uncle knew the address to where I lived at before now we don't even have an address and w once we do they're not even getting it they might be welcome to uh, uh, come visit but outside of that like nah I'm good let's let's keep that separation until even you get your mind right but who, who else uh, oh with yeah, I can't force you to interact with uh, or not interact with someone I can only give uh, give a suggestion or you can see how I move and deal with certain people uh -huh. to make your own decision like, I'm never going to force that on you yeah. um, but if you see someone going in a negative direction and you uh, continue to interact with them then that would make me question your judgment mm -hmm. uh, in the future like you uh, happen to be out there going to say hi or whatever that's what you do I'm not gonna uh, I, I'm not gonna say oh no you can't do that but if you were to bring that stuff around me then there would be a problem but who else did you see out there um I saw my uncle when I went to my grandma's house for a little bit. Right. I saw him. I just saw more of my friends and then my cousins and my grandma. Okay. And then while I was on, I think it was Saturday? Friday? No, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday, I was with uh, Cousin Boo and the Hagans and them. And we went to some house festival, house music festival. Oh, cool. And I was laying on the blanket, and I made it to a little bit before it, the sun started going down. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> and then it was dark. Uh, you're solar powered. Yeah, I guess. Yep. That, uh, and I'm trying to think, that's, they are an hour earlier I mean, they're an hour ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So, whatever time it was out there, it would be... Uh, it's Yeah, it's an hour behind out here. So, that's already past your uh, w uh, your bedtime for your schedule. Yeah. Because you have to be to work at, what, 7 a.m.? Yeah. I was on my phone, and I was, like, trying to fight my eyes closing... <laughs> And I just, I just locked my phone. I was like, this is not ending anytime soon. So I might as well just put my phone down and just go to sleep. No. And I put it down and I don't even know if I lasted a solid minute. Like, Where was the, um, the music festival at? It was at Russ, starts with an R. I gotta look at it. Was it uh, some place that they just invited you to, uh -huh. or something you wanted Roslyn. to do? Roslyn. Roslyn? What, Roslyn, New Jersey? Yes. They're already going to it. Oh, okay. And you just tagged along? Yes. Cool. I, I think it was, it was either Taylor or Destiny. They were like, yeah, we're doing this on this day. Like, we're already all getting together on this day. So I was like, okay, I'll just go with that. Thank God. Like, all right. Cool. Yeah. Might well, as well. Uh, was it um, a DJ or yes. performers? I think they were performers, too. But I wasn't really paying attention to music. Like, obviously, I heard it, but I wasn't paying attention. But every single time they're like, make some noise for blah, 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 there was no noise. Like, not a single person <laughs> made a single noise. Oh, wow. And then, do you remember that, like, couch thing? That Cousin Boo has, it's like this. 
Is that a chaise lounge? I think that's the name of it. Something like that. Yes, what about I was laying on that, and I don't fit on it anymore, so my back hurt a lot when I woke up. (laughs) And I don't, I I think I remember them having like a three cushion couch, but it was not there when I was there just now. There was only one couch in that like slope thing. Maybe they either moved it out or it got messed up. Something like that. Do they still have their dog? No. What happened with that? It died, I oh. think. Well, I think it died before I moved. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I yeah. think at least. Yeah, I'm not in the loop on anything. I'm not either, but I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. I think it did. DJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what the name of their dog was, DJ. So, did you see anybody else, or... Um. No. No. <laughs> so, what did you think about the... What is the contrast in your mind between New Jersey and the middle of nowhere Oklahoma where we live? Um... The contrast between it. Uh, people don't really care about you in like New Jersey. They'll just like look at you and then never think about you again. In Oklahoma, people like are friendly. They just start talking to you, having a conversation. Um, There's way less people in Oklahoma. Like I was, I was, uh, when we were driving back, there were so many cars on the highway. Right. And it was kind of crazy. There's just way too many people. And then... Mm, contrast. I mean, like, just the type of people are just different. Like, what would you... What do you think that it is? Like, that they are just more concerned about themselves that they're not a community that uh, yeah probably something like that it's not a community it's just like everybody just lives there everybody's just like in there it's stacked on top of each other yes yep it's I I what was it when I was young I started to see that there was no future for me in New Jersey, mm-hmm. and I was trying to figure a way out. So that's why I did all the the uh, athletic things. I was playing semi-pro football, trying to see if I could advance to another level. Then I started uh, uh, fighting professionally mm-hmm. to see if I could advance to another level. I started doing truck driving to see uh, where that would take me, if that could get me to purchase some property or take over the family property that we have in North Carolina, Uh but uh, I started asking about that in, what, 99, 2000, Hmm. about the property in North Carolina, and was getting a run around on that, then after uh, my grandmother died in 2016, then I was finally told, like, oh, it's air property. So everyone uh, everyone in the family would either have to sign off on it or you would have to pay uh, pay off people to sign off on it. I was like, uh, no, nah, I'm good. It's, the property is, uh, could be nice, but it's not going to be worth it for me. Mm. I'll find something in the middle of the country because... <laughs> uh, don't even want to deal with the coast, but if it was, uh, if it was available, yeah, I would have been, uh, what was that, is that not Wilmington, uh, it starts with a W, in North Carolina, near the ocean, uh, I can't think, I can't think of it without grabbing my phone, I, I know it's down, I-40. It's like at the end of I-40 uh, in North Carolina, but can't, uh, oh, Castlehane and, uh, what, 
it's in, then a the, uh, town where the property in it, it starts with a W. But I'll, I'll look it up and then remember. Well, actually, it's not even important right now because I most likely will never go there. Have you ever been there? Yes, when I was a kid. Uh, I, I, my first time I went was in 1986. Mm. And I think we went again in 88? Either 88 or 89. And I don't think I've been back after that. Um, well, no. When I was an adult, well, actually not an adult, when I was a driving teenager and went down to North Carolina, I met up with one of my cousins down there, but I, I, I didn't go to the property. I went over by where he lived at. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think I was down there for a wedding. Oh, no, so I wasn't a teenager. I was an adult. I and went down there for and I uh, when you and I went to Blair's wedding in North Carolina we wore uh, powder blue shirts with um, with French cuffs it was powder blue and white I think my shirt was no both of our shirts were powder blue and had white collars and cufflinks I got a try and find that picture. I um, think I remember that. Yeah. Uh, but you and I drove down to North Carolina for that. Do you know what color the carpet was? Wasn't it like a carpet? On the ground? I do what in the picture? I think so. I, I do not remember that part. Yeah. But I know that I had the big body bins. The 1986 uh, Mercedes 420 SEL. I think I remember that. Yep. Because uh, you used to love being in there because it was so big to run and play around. That's probably why I like big cars now. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> but I am glad that you are home and uh, we can get back to life and learning about the land that we're on so that when I hand everything over to you and the chunk, y'all will know what you're doing. And not just like, uh, oh. I live here. Yeah, exactly. It, it'll, it'll actually be something that you enjoy and cherish. Well, at least I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. I would assume it would. What'd you say? I'm assuming it would. Oh, awesome. But... I'm glad that you're back. Glad that your flights were uh, were good and easy. There was nobody going crazy on the flights, or uh, you would have had to put your hands on anyone. Also, glad that your luggage wasn't lost. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get lost. That was the first time I've ever checked my bag. Oh yeah, they they tend to be unless they uh, switch planes for a maintenance issue. Uh, I, they're, they you're on a bunch of different connecting flights they seem to be fairly good with uh making sure your luggage arrives at the same place uh, that i uh, that you, do. you went to but if not they they tend to get it back or get it to you fairly quickly within either if not a couple of hours within a day they have no address <laughs> yeah. oops oh yeah well, now that you're back, you still got to you got to change over that New Jersey license. To and, what address? Uh, to well, to the property that we were at before uh, until we uh, switch it to this one. Now. You can change it like multiple times. Yes. Okay. That that's no problem at all. But uh, hopefully uh, the audio was good on this. We were using the microphones again, like what we used. Uh, what I used with Noel and I, but that one was clipping. I turned the gain down, but it looks like everything is redlining now, so I don't know how this is going to sound. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Glad my son is back. Glad and to be back. <laughs> yes. So, uh, shalom. Shalom.